Good evening, it's Margie the Bootleg Knitter, and I actually had a previous video where I showed how to finish a sock, but it was in the dark brown yarn, it's hard to see, so I decided I'm gonna do it over with some white yarn, I just put some stitches on to simulate that I'm at the end of my sock. So I go, when I do my socks, when I'm doing the foot, I finish my foot at the bottom of my pinky toe. So that's where I stop doing my stuck in that stitch or whatever stitch I'm doing. So I stopped at the bottom of my pinky toe and now I'm going to decrease for the toe. So I just chucked some stitches on here, I put 39 stitches because that would be about right for this yarn. This is a um, worsted weight. So if I were doing a sock, it would probably have about that number of stitches. So now I did half and half. So 39 really doesn't divide in half equally. So one side has, one side has um, 19. The other side has 20. And uh, I apologize for the shadow. I'm downstairs um, in my den area. So I got the nice little, that was a gift. That's a reindeer pelt. So yeah. So now I'm going to do the decrease as if I'm at the end of my sock. So it's pretty easy. On the first one, I'm going to slip the first stitch. I'm going to knit the second stitch. And I'm going to pass over the first stitch over the second stitch for my first decrease. Then I'm going to knit down to the last two stitches down the end. The last two stitches down the end. Dun, 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 dun. There I go. So how's everyone been? I've been okay. Today I had a fun day. I went over to my friend's farm with my one of my dogs. He had a little field trip and he got to see sheep in person for the first time. So that was kind of cool. All right, so now I have two stitches left. So when I'm down the end, these two stitches, cause I'm down the end, I'm going to knit together. Okay, I always have a hard time getting these. Here we go, knit together. So now I have decreased two on my first needle and it doesn't matter what side you start on. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna turn, and now again, I'm at the first, I'm at the beginning of this needle, so I'm gonna slip the first stitch. I'm going to knit the second stitch, make sure it's tight, pull it tight, and then I'm gonna slip over the first one over the second one. Again, make sure that's tight. Again, knit across. Knit, knit, knit. Yeah, so I said I took Oni, and then we came home and my husband and I took all the dogs for a mile walk. It was absolutely gorgeous today. And I was having a good hip day, so we went for a walk. It was nice. So it's rain tomorrow. That's okay. All right, I'm almost down to the end. So again, when I have two stitches left, I'm going to knit them together. I always have a hard time getting them. There we go. Oops, I missed it. Hang on, sorry. Knit those two together. All right, now you continue doing this until there's 12 stitches left on each side. You might have to do an extra decrease on the side that has the one stitch more so that we'll have an even number. So again, you keep doing that decrease around until you have 12 on each side, so that's 24 stitches overall. Then what you're going to do is I do the Kitchener stitch. You can look up how to do the Kitchener stitch. I'm not gonna cover that. So just make sure you leave a long enough tail and you'll do your Kitchener stitch and that way it looks like the sock is continued knit over the top. So, and then your sock is done. So that's a short little video on how to finish your sock and you all have a great day.